Hello Guardians, what's going on? My name's Erupt and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now in today's video we're going to be doing the Warlock Stormcaller best character build. Now you've noticed that I've been using the Warlock a whole bunch in the past few videos so I thought why not do a best character build and show you guys what I actually think is the best PvP build for the Warlock Stormcaller. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the tree. Okay, so first up in our grenade section we have the Arcbot Grenade. Now I find this really cool because if you chuck this into a pool of enemies it will scan them track them and then just shoot a lightning bolt at them and it actually remove just over their shield so I mean that's really helpful if you're having a shield there you can run in and then you can put your bullets in and then there's a lot less damage that you have to put into the actual enemy you could probably get a headshot with luck in the chamber or just two body shots in general and then you've got yourself a kill so that's why I picked the arc bot grenade next up in my jumping section obviously we have the glide on the storm caller the trademark jump of the warlock and in this I actually have focus burst so what this does is upgrades glide to provide an initial boost to speed and if you're really good at jumping and you like to be quick on the map focus burst is really good for that if you know how to time your jumps and you're really used to the warlock jump now this is a great thing for getting across the map you can flank you can run straight through the middle you can do it very well if you know how to tap and time your jumps and that's why i find it's really good for anything competitive in destiny it makes you more agile and you can in general just throw enemies off quite well if you learn how to use focus burst next up we have the special which is of course storm trance now this is really good because you can go around the map clear flags and generally change games you can gain a lot of points for your team and then you can clear the entire enemy team in one quick swipe And then for the perk on this I actually have ionic blink now This is really helpful because in general when you're using your super in destiny You're really viable to being taken down from all sorts of directions You can have your super wiped off you just through activating it having the activation animation Usually gets you killed because you're taking so long to do some little sparkling magic trick in the sky But with this however, you're actually able to teleport a short distance which is really effective because it can throw enemies off and then you can also dodge a lot of bullets this is also something that gets you around the map very very quick and is much better than the focused burst in my opinion when using your super you can use it to get up ledges much quicker so in melee now we have thunderstrike and i did make a rant video about this in my previous video so if you want to go check that out it's either going to be in the recommended videos on your right or you can go on my channel and it'll literally just be the video right before this is uploaded so if you want to go check that out go and get my opinions on this melee as a whole i find that it's really really powerful so the greatest thing about this is amplitude now this melee ability as a whole is a really well ranged melee if you have it charged up then this thing can go quite far and still do a lot of damage to the enemy with the amplitude that range has a greater range and it can actually travel further hitting enemies at a better distance so i find if you want to get an early melee in before the little melee battle happens usually when you're close to someone then i really recommend using amplitude because it will give you the upper hand when in a melee fight or anything close quarters so in my attribute boosters now i have arcane force training focused on toughness and speed my next one i actually have feedback incoming melee attacks fully recharge and intensify your thunder strike so if you do happen to get that first thunder strike in and they're half health or maybe they've got a good toughness and armor then what happens is once they've meleeed you your thunder strike is straight back up and it's actually stronger this time so you're not going to lose that melee fight which is why i really really like feedback and recommend it to any warlock you also have transcendence when cast with full grenade and melee energy storm trance restores your health to full and drain slower that's quite helpful not my cup of tea though if you want to look at pulse wave also we have critically wounded a trigger a pulse wave that boosts speed for you and your allies just something again that makes it quicker to get around the map not very helpful in most situations but of course when you need it that could be used divine order is my next up training focused on toughness at all cost again we're going for toughness there and then in my last stop slot we have perpetual charge grenade kills recharge your melee melee kills recharge your grenade so it's like a continuous circle of using your abilities if you've managed to pick off someone with your grenade by throwing it around the corner it scans them hits them with a lightning bolt and you get that kill then you have your melee instantly charged up you manage to get your melee kill then your grenades gonna instantly be charged up too I'm really falling in love with the subclass and it's really fun to use if you're new to the warlock I recommend a lot of people getting used to this one void walk has some really cool things like energy drain instantly getting your health back up of course it's got a lot of cool things about that and it's got a nice ranged super then you have sun singer which is is also really fun to use i mean you got self res if that's all for today guys if you did enjoy today's video then please be sure to leave a like comment subscribe share this on social media for more destiny tips tricks news and updates in the community my name's been erupt and have a great day